Fournette. Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What is going on, everybody? It is Tree from Dream Talks here. Here to recap the week number 16 matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Miami Dolphins. This was a game that this Jaguar team needed. I know for a draft position standpoint and us as fans, that's all we're going to be worried about is the draft position. We needed to lose this game in order to get a top five pick. But it's great to see that team win a game, especially because, you know, they definitely wanted it um, really bad. You know, this this is nothing that the team thought would happen this season. And to go out there finally and win a game, um, especially against a team that's in the same state, so, you know, Miami, to kill their playoff hopes as well. So it was a big morale victory uh, for the Jags, especially this Jacksonville defense that exceptionally stepped up today. And played good football. Um, Telvin Smith on the pick six. The first defensive touchdown we've had since week one. Um, Calais Campbell. He also played out of his mind. He was in on a lot of plays. Made a lot of splash plays. Uh, he recovered a fumble. Caused a fumble as well. And uh, managed to get that turnover for us for Jacksonville. So, you know, this defense really played well. Um, Marcel Darius. Malik Jackson even got in on a sack. We had five plus sacks today. Um... With Calais Campbell getting one, Yannick Ngakwe getting one um, as well. Sprinkled in there. So, you know, now Calais Campbell has nine sacks on the season. Yannick Ngakwe has eight. Um, This defense stepped up. You know, it played its role. It did everything it should be doing or should have been doing um, all season long. Held Miami to only seven points. Uh, They didn't score at any of their drives except the first drive. So they scored on their first drive. They didn't get any points after that. Um, The pick six by Telvin Smith was the game sealer um, midway through, about nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. Uh, That pick six really juvenated this Jaguar defense and this Jaguar team as a whole um, to get that defensive touchdown. That's something that they've been missing all season long are those big splash plays, and they were were able to get it um, with Telvin Smith on that pick six. Um, not enough can be said about this defense. Miles Jack as well had a good game uh, at the linebacker position. I believe he led in tackles. Um, Jalen Ramsey as well, he had a good day. Uh, the secondary as a whole had a good day. I don't think there was a completion for much longer than 10 yards on the day. Uh, Jalen and Amendola were, you know, talking back and forth. And there was just, I just wanted to see him throw hands because that would have been entertainment, entertaining in the game, you know. For the most part, throughout the first half was pretty pretty boring stuff but uh this defense really was a big part and basically the whole entire reason why the Jaguars were able to win this game and and before I start talking about the offense and a little bit about the special teams as well I just want like you guys as fans to know don't be upset about your team winning a game I understand the draft positioning and all that but I think regardless the Jags were going to end up trading up in the draft so you know even at pick number five even at that position, I think that they would have ended up trading up. So, um, be happy for your team, you know, is all I'm saying. is Be happy that they won a game. You know, it was good to see. It was the first time in a long time that the Jags were able to win. Last time beating the Colts 6-0. to But, uh, yeah, as a whole, I just want you guys just to be happy. Be happy for your team. Be happy that you guys won the game. Now, a quick talk about special teams because there was some good and there was some bad. The bad was the the absolute worst field goal attempt I've ever seen by Kai Forbath. It was a 56-yard attempt. The ball barely even got on the off the ground. Hit the long snapper right in the ass. Like, literally drilled him. Like, and it was just it was a terrible kick, a terrible attempt. I've never seen anything quite like it, but he ended up making one other field goal and all of his extra points, both of them. So, you know, that's good to see him to be able to do that. But, you know, that other field goal attempt, man, whew, that was just terrible terrible stuff but something that i want to give a special shout out to is the kick and punt coverage um on this jaguar team that has played exceptionally well um all season long different types of special teamers stepping up there were some some dumb special teams penalties uh and just penalties as a whole penalties was kind of the common theme of this game um on both sides of the ball um but jacksonville it's not like they weren't getting called on anything you know on any penalties they definitely were um having offsides on the kickoff like that's unacceptable um, tons of holding calls on offense, man. You can just 
probably nine nine holding penalties on the offense. You know, you can't get away from penalties. Uh, you can't just keep shooting yourself in the foot. The Jags did a lot of that today. But this kick coverage team is very good. Um, they were struggling with bad field position almost the whole game was Miami. Uh, Logan Cook was able to pin them back deep with a couple of good punts. Um, and I think the special team unit as a whole played really, really well. D.D. Westbrook also. I hate, if I'm Jadon Mickens, I hate to see D.D. Westbrook doing this well in the return game because that kind of... That's your, you know, reason you're on the roster is to return kicks and punts. But D.D. Westbrook, who's doing this well, um, is going out there and doing his thing. You know, if you're Jadon Mickens, you're like, man, I might not have a spot on this roster next year. Which is kind of like the role that a lot of guys are in right now. But um, Jadon Mickens, you know, you hate to see that for that guy. But D.D. Westbrook had a good day. Um, He had seven receptions on the day, which was a lot of receptions for a Jags receiver. So, again, you like to see that. Um, he actually tried. He attempted a pass. He was 0 for 1. Um, he had pressure in his face. He should have. Uh, he had an open Keelan Cole, but he kind of threw it away to not take the sack. So that was a smart play um, on his part. But the big storyline of this game, I think, besides the penalties, was the fact that Cody Kessler just was playing like t- terrible, man. Like, like you can have like a statue out there playing, and it would play better than Cody Kessler. Like he, he's just so bland and average and like not good. <laughs> at anything, you know, at least when he got Bortles in there, he had the running ability. The Kessler kind of has, but not as well as Blake Bortles. Um, but Bortles came in, I think, like towards the end of the third quarter. He did come in a little bit in the first half because Cody Kessler had a uh, shoulder injury. But Bortles went out there. I'm not going to say he led us to victory, but he went out there. He put together a uh, field goal getting drive and uh, was able to win the game. He was the quarterback taking the knee at the end of the game. He threw a couple of good passes on the day. And, you know, like, just as fans, again, let's be happy for Blake Bortles. You know, I'm sure this also means a lot to him to be able to get in there, even if it was in the fourth quarter and they already had, um, oh, what was a tied game at that point. But, you you know, even then, you got to be happy for Blake Bortles. He made big plays with his legs and, you know, throws he had to make he made uh, late in the game. So, like I said, just be happy for Blake Bortles. It was uh, good to see him out there um, and really kind of get his final shine. He might even get the start next week to uh, end the season against Houston. And, you know, why not? Let, let Bortles end his career uh, with one full game against Houston because, you know, he's definitely not coming back next year. But, you know, basically, all in all, you guys just need to be happy that we won a football game and it's the first first time in a long time. So I hope you guys are happy. I'm happy. I know our draft position isn't as good as it could be, but just be happy to see your team win football games. And that was my Jacksonville Jaguars for some Miami Dolphins recap. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Trave Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Trevon Pixley. And follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you can donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Trave Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them to do straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.